Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 188 of Sinarukana. <sighs> Let's do more talking. <laughs> what, you don't want to talk? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty drunk. You seem to love the talking. She walks by herself down the dark, quiet hallway. The excitement of the party's mostly gone, but some of the echoes are still with her. <laughs> Got to get some hair of the dog. Oh? What? Hair of the, the dog is basically something that people say about like uh, alcohol. I don't know exactly what it means, but it basically has to do with, deal with alcohol. No. Okay. I don't Even drink. Even I've heard that one, and I, I don't, don't drink. I don't drink either, and I haven't heard of that. Where did I hear it from? Was it Harry Potter? Seriously? I think it was Harry Potter. Probably she, not. She thought the hallway was empty, but there's someone standing next to the window. It's Katima. Oh, are they gonna have it? What's up? It's pretty late. Jazita, I was enjoying the cool night air. In other words, you're worrying about something. Katima's very open and easy for her to read. Though. Anybody would probably have been able to tell that something's bothering her. Katima perhaps knows that too, and doesn't try to pretend otherwise. I'm a little uneasy. He's always saved me, so I want to repay his kindness. I want to return his feelings for me. I think you did. But am I who he truly needs? What exactly do you mean? Now, believe it or not, this is like what a lot of people worry about. Uh, not wanting to ask too much, just in general. <laughs> it's uh, anxiety is what it is. I don't know how to put it. I just I want to know that I'm not asking too much of him. Uh, something like that. I invited him to our kendo practice today. He not only refused, but ran away. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, anxiety. That, that is anxiety. Chisita immediately smiles to herself when she hears that. The answer is obvious to everyone who knows them. As Omu risked his life for her when the golems attacked her world. When he was controlled by Jerol, she was the one who re reached into his heart and saved him. Neither has any need to ask the other for anything. They both already need each other. But she doesn't realize that, and it makes her anxious. Even more so since she's innocent and inexperienced with romance. Chisita thinks for a moment about lecturing her on relationships between men and women, but then abandons that for a shortcut. Miss Katima, I've got something good for you. Is it a lollipop? <laughs> she has that look in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're gonna have another band episode? <laughs> this is the big night before the final battle, and you and Nozomu are lovers, right? 
。やだし。いいのよ。照れなくても。見ていればわかることだもの。It's okay. Don't be shy. It's obvious to everyone. とにかく、決戦前夜に恋人たちがすることと言ったら、一つ。Anyway, this is one thing lovers should be doing the night before a big battle. それはね。<laughs> She's loving this way too much. And you know what? It's to confirm their feelings for each other. <laughs> confirm our feelings? <laughs> you really love me. I'm the one you confided in, you know? Because I'm the head nurse here and the hill specialist. <sighs> um, just what do you mean by that? Basically, I've got a secret weapon. She takes a little bottle out from her cleavage <laughs> with a huge, proud grin. She's just been holding this in, <laughs> in there like the entire time, like ever since we saw her. <laughs> Katima looks at the pink liquid in it seriously, just like Josita expected. <laughs> If you take this, that's one last worry for you. <laughs> really? Her eyes sparkle as Jazita regretfully hands it over, but she's satisfied since it's for someone in need. Katima doesn't even ask what it is before drinking it. <laughs> Uh, it tastes a little strange. Uh, huh? After finishing it, it in one gulp, she looks confused for a moment before her eyes glaze over. Her face flushes like she's drunk, and her breathing grows heavy. She can't focus her eyes, and her gaze swims. Okay, Katima. Lovers should be confirming their feelings and warmth the night before a big battle. Have fun! Urged onward by her words and a soft push on the back, Katima unsteadily stumbles forward. She can't even see Jazita anymore. Good luck, Mizoma. What the heck did she give her? <laughs> don't know. You're gonna find out. This is a different room. I'm just relaxing in my room like normal when I suddenly shudder from head to toe. Nothing happened, though. I was just trying to calm down so I could sleep before the huge battle. I'm not sure why, but I just felt an incredible chill. <laughs> hey, the funeral. T the fight to the The funeral? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, glanced at, I glanced down at the, at the word farewell and I was still thinking of the word sick, so I started. To, so I just thought funeral. <laughs> farewell, funeral. <laughs> hey, the fight tomorrow is important. What, what are you going to do if you made yourself sick? We're playing around too much at the farewell party. 
the funeral tomorrow is important. <laughs> Funerals are usually important, right? Like, uh, are, no, you know. I feel fine. It was just for a moment. I'm not sure what to even call it. Maybe I've been taking on too much without even realizing it. Uh, are you really okay? Why is there a coat hanger on the bulletin board? On the right there, there's a coat hanger on the bulletin board. That 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 doesn't help. Like, I put guess. On but I'd there. imagine to hang his jacket on. I mean, it's not exactly a bedroom. This is kind of a storage room being used as a bedroom. <laughs> but if you put a jacket on there, it's going to fall off. Trust me, I've not, tried not, that not before. Not necessarily. I've tried it before. That doesn't work. If it's one of the ones that has a twisty, a twistable head. Like, why not just hang off of one of the vines? If there's one in the top right corner, that would work just fine. <laughs> Either go to sleep already, or do something else to fix whatever's the matter. Don't make me worry about you. You're right. I'll go take a bath. <laughs> you sure? If you feel sick, come back here immediately. I'll be fine. It wasn't that bad. And I need to be clean to get a good night's sleep. I see. Then I'll keep an eye on things here. Thanks. Okay, I'm off. Mm, don't stay in the hot water too long. Once Nozomu leaves, Reime would normally disappear. But she doesn't do that tonight. She knows that it's not like Nozomu to be gone for very long anyway. He'll be back soon. Oh Reime stretches goodness. out on the bed and idly passes the time before he comes back. Are the two of them going to come back? This is... this seems to be funny. Maybe it's funny. Nozomu! Nozomu! There's a knock on the door, and a voice. Reime's confused for a moment. But then realizes that it's Katima. She opens the door without waiting for any answer and steps in. <laughs> Katima looks around the room, confused and anxious. Uh, huh? He's not here? Katima? Katima, what's the matter? Why are you so upset? Wait, 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 just realized something. Mizumi went to the bath. The school has baths? I understand showers, but baths? Why would a school have a bath? Um, Alright, Japanese uh, it's, it's a Japanese school, so it's probably like a sauna type thing. I think they call saunas baths. Oh yeah, it's like something like that. She finally sees Reime sitting on the bed. She immediately crouches down next to her and desperately pleads. Reime, please tell me, where is he? Sorry, he's taking a bath right now. <laughs> if you need something, you can just wait here for a while. She sounds like a receptionist or something. A bath? But he's in the bathroom. <laughs> a huge shudder goes through her. No doubt about it, it's the exact same thing Nozomu felt. A cold feeling on her heart that signifies her life possibly being in danger. 
ありがとうございますエーベルの Thank you very much, Ray. <laughs> This is all new. Timbo stumbles back up and leaves the room, laughing eerily. Her face was flushed too, giving Ray May, leaving Ray May baffled and worried. So, Mama, no, Mama, you can eat it. Sorry, Miss Omu. Be strong. She tells herself that she saw nothing and couldn't have stopped her. Raymay lays back down on the bed, tormented by her guilty conscience. Patiently waiting for her master to return, no matter how long it takes. The heat of the water slowly soaks into my whole body. Maybe I shouldn't be relaxing like this before such an important battle, but considering what we're fighting for, it might be for the best. Survive tomorrow and come back alive, huh? This fight's for Katima, too. I close my eyes and picture her. I can be so calm because of her. Ah! Hmm? Who's there? Hmm. So, um, <laughs> we're too early to end the episode here. Well, if it is going to be another one of those scenes, I do kind of want it in its own episode. Well, this whole thing since we've begun was like the lead up to this kind of a scene anyway, so we could all just. It's not like anything plot related happened that doesn't lead directly yeah, to the Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. All of this episode has been leading up to this. So, might as well keep it in the And we're not episode. reading this one. You guys can read it. You guys can read it for yourselves. Whoops. Ah. Right, right. I don't know what button I hit, but... How much did you... Yeah. Huh? Did we skip the whole thing? Did we skip, like, the whole thing somehow or something? Up more. Uh, I hear someone in the changing room. I thought I'd be the only one taking a bath this late. It can't possibly be an enemy. So then, who is it? I left all my clothes in there, so they have to at least know it's a guy in here. Does that mean it's Sorluska? There are probably a lot of people who wish that it was Saluska. As I think about it, they appear behind the frosted glass. Huh? They're pretty thin for a guy. No, While I'm still wondering who it is, the door opens. What? I almost fall over in surprise when I see who it is. She looks like she's blushing, but she walks right in, looking straight at me. She's not even trying to hide herself with a towel or anything. All she's doing is holding her arms under her beautiful breasts, pushing them up, then nearly making them spill out of her grasp. Wh what are you doing here? <laughs> I was told you were here. You were told? But Raymay's the only one who knew I was here. Yes, Rain told me. Uh, oh. Well, I guess it'd normally be okay to tell her I went to the bath. However, unless. Are you chewing something? No, I think I've got a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. This <laughs> 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 is totally ruining the scene. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Shut up! 
<laughs> they know how cats feel when they're yacking up a hairball. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Try eating some grass. She's just gotten in here, but she's already flushed all over, and her eyes are misty. What's wrong? Is something the matter? Um, nothing really. I'm glad. She shakes slightly, and her big breasts tremble. My eyes are practically glued to them. No, not just to her chest, her entire body. Seeing her standing in the light, not trying to hide at all, really makes me realize how beautiful she is. Her silky smooth skin and flowing golden hair. She's practically a work of art that takes your breath away. What is it? Is there something wrong with me? N no, nothing. I came here because I wanted to be with you. Am I bothering you? Not at all. But it's weird. Despite what she's saying, she's being weirdly forward. It looks like you're having some trouble with your body. Uh -huh. ah! I follow my I follow Katima's gaze, eyes locked onto my own body. If I stood up now and didn't cover myself, I'd be completely exposed. Damn thing's <laughs> acting on its own. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to hide it. <laughs> huh? What'd she just say? What's she mean by that exactly? She's usually so modest and reserved. That's way more bold than is normal for her. <sighs> May I join you? Yeah, alright. Thank you. I like you looking at me, but it's a little cold. Looking at her? Wait a minute. Did she come in here to do something memorable? Because this is the last night before the big battle? And this is the first time that she's thought of that? Or did she suddenly feel horny? I mean, for all her power, she is a regular girl, too. It wouldn't be that weird for her to suddenly feel an urge like that. But this is still a little sudden. Allow me. She bows her head slightly to me and steps in. Well, let me wash your back right away, alright? Uh, no. I'm okay. You should get in the bath. I mean, you're cold, right? No, I'm fine. Your body's been aching for a while now. She grabs my hand and pulls me out of the bath then forces me to sit down on the tiled floor. Allow me. Guess it, like, really is a bathtub, and... <laughs> That's what I'm thinking! Why? <laughs> Why does a school have a bathtub? Don't know. Or maybe it's a hot tub. They have a pool, so they might have a hot tub as well. That was one of my first thoughts, but it's, like, bath? So, maybe if we continue clicking forward, we'll see it better? Huh? Because right now we're in the void. <laughs> With a jerk of my arm, suddenly all I can see is the ceiling. My back strikes the cold, hard tiles, and Katima looks down over me. 
I'm too stunned to understand what she just did. She just gives me a small smile. <laughs> then allow me. Uh, what? Yeah! <laughs> that beautiful smile turns devilish. She straddles my body and then smoothly lowers herself down on my waist without any hesitation. <laughs> and we're done reading. Okay, people who can't read too fast, uh, you might want to get yourselves ready on that pause button. I'll, I'll leave it long enough to be for people to read it. Okay. Basically, I'll read it to, 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 in my not out loud, okay. <laughs> and when I finish, I'll continue. Or a couple seconds after I finish, I'll continue because I re the, I read pretty quickly. The general idea. <laughs> Back when I was reading novels, I'd go. Th Road through like a 600 page novel in just a couple days. <laughs> the general idea of leaving text up on a video is to make it able to be read five times before you remove it. That's why so often little tiny signs are like four words are left up for like eight seconds because like the idea is to read it like five times. And five like, times? Does anybody that read that slowly? Well, see, versus someone who reads incredibly fast, versus someone who doesn't read very fast, so that's the general rule of thumb. Sure. <laughs> like, I read that five times before she finished talking. <laughs> For example. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, although, yeah, when she's talking, it'll definitely take plenty of time. Actually, she shouldn't hold herself on her feet. She should like hold herself like on her knees. Much more control that way. <laughs> not, you're not gonna like fall backwards if you're on your knees. <laughs> oh, I never really liked kneeling on my knees. Uh, I used to install satellite dishes and. What are I'd you supposed to, to kneel on? If not your knees. I prefer like squatting, as my knees like really hurt when I if you kneel down on the ground. Uh, when you're a big guy like I am, I'm six <laughs> three. Yeah, well, I'm sure that Katima has other things on her mind other than how much her knees might hurt. <laughs> the situation, okay? But tile floor, that would make it really bad. Uh, Wet tile floor. So, you really have to worry about things like balance. <laughs> I still wonder what the heck just eat the gate for. Her. Um, I. I don't know the exact term for it, but basically it makes her horny. What is it? Supposed to be called formulas or something? What? I don't remember the uh, term for it, but basically uh, it makes person horny. I have a feeling she was supposed to share it with Nozomi. Yeah, I can't remember either. Um. Ah, it's like I almost got it. Uh, I know, right? Um. Ah. This, yeah, it's been in plenty of novels. Um. Yeah, it's plenty of novels. That's going to irritate me the rest of the night.
Aphrodisiac. Yeah, that's it. What'd you do? Look it up. <laughs> I started to look it up, but then I remember the time. <laughs> I've gone really fast at being able to look something up while I'm in the middle of a gaming session. Because normally when you think horny, you don't necessarily think Afro. Yeah. <laughs> or yaks. Afro D's yak. Yeah, I imagine it's probably got some Greek root. Oh, words. probably Greek. Like most of the English language. <laughs> Most of the English language comes from other languages. <laughs> Greek and Latin and... And, uh, and well, actually, in Mostly fact, Greek and Latin. The difference between uh, things like... You know how, like, beef comes from a cow? Instead of saying cow meat comes from a cow? Is actually between, like... The difference between, like, rich people who own, like, the cows and the poor people who would, like, butcher the cows and make the beef. That's actually two different languages being used, combined into English, English, because uh, the rich people would say cow and the poor people who made it would just call it beef from a different language, and they were put together. That's why you have the yeah, I don't know, don't know many rich people that own cows. <laughs> usually, like, usually it's like the 60... poor farmers that own the cows. <laughs> Maybe it was the other way around, I don't know. <laughs> it's like pigs and like pork. <laughs> Say the same, oddly enough. Maybe it was the other way around, but the butchers would call them by the uh, name. I think the only people. animals rich people ever really own, other than like exotic pets, or like horses. <laughs> and we call horse meat horse meat, as opposed to like, I don't know, cumberbatch or something. Like, I thought that what Shizusa was giving her was birth control. That way she doesn't have to worry about one last thing. <laughs> Is this gonna give you more choices? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me at this point. Three choices in that last one. What happened, though?
Okay, I think we can go back to docking. <laughs> I've just taken Jesus' medicine. Oh, look, she looks embarrassed now. I... I don't really get it. Should you get off me? Uh, yes. Alright. She looks down at where we're connected, and her eyes open wide in surprise as she regains her presence of mind, little by little. You, you should hurry. I don't know if I can make it. Uh, uh, this is a... Uh, uh, yes, boss. She fidgets hesita hesitantly and doesn't try to get off. If she doesn't let me out soon, this is going to be bad. <laughs> what are you, a person or a dog? <laughs> Uh, you really keep twitching. Okay, okay, we don't. We can stop reading again. <laughs> I thought they were. I thought they were kind of recovering the senses. We're gonna discuss what Chazita did. They are recovering, but not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Even how she was acting earlier, I don't think she really knew, or, even, or maybe even meant for this to happen. <laughs> Yes, um, how it started. This is something that I wanted. S sorry I should have known. Radio silence again. <laughs> oh, like I said in the last one, if many more of these happen either in this game or in Acelia when we do it. Uh, well, I know there's some in Acelia. When we do it, oh my when we, <laughs> when we do the let's play of it! God dang it, Claire! <laughs> Make me pull my beard out. This is still going. What? This is still going. Uh, of course it is. Uh, the whole episode of this. Again. Well, I, I, I knew from the beginning, from the style of game, that it would be in it. It just doesn't really need to be. I mean, this game is an amazing uh, storyline and has great strategic gameplay and everything. Doesn't really need to be a hentai game. No. Same thing with Acelia. Acelia had an amazing story. Although, I never really experienced it, but apparently in the original Japanese version of Acelia, there was uh, something really bad that could happen if you didn't keep your mind stat high enough at, at a certain point in the game. He'd be <laughs> crushed by the will of his uh, sword and proceed to rape and kill all of the girls in the game. <laughs> Oh my goodness, now that would be an ending. 
Yeah, like uh, these kinds of scenes in games, like games don't necessarily need them. Like San Andreas didn't need this kind of a scene. At least that's what I've heard about it. It's been mentioned a couple times. The evil route, uh, it's called. Yeah, that would be pretty evil. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I never played the. Get off never, or get off. never played the original Japanese version of it, so because <laughs> yeah, I don't understand really more than a couple words of Japanese. <laughs> Despite how many visual novels and mangas that I've looked at, the uh, ones that have the Japanese still have the Japanese voicing, but English translations. I think I'd learn a little bit of Japanese by now, other than just a couple of words. Uh, like, thank you, and... <laughs> what do you want? Gonna bother me again tonight? Who, what, the cat? Of course, the cat. I live alone! Who else would I be talking to? Don't lay on the keyboard. You're gonna make it skip past a bunch. Want to be friendly tonight? Why did you tease him more a little? What? <laughs> the screen. Chewing on the mic. Fighting.
my choices. My what? So this is four of the like twelve choices of the game right in these two scenes now. Can't see since my cat's rubbing her back against my glasses. So inside or outside? Can't see. I'm just listening for the beeping. <laughs> Inside you chose, apparently. Oh, is this scene finally over? Yeah, I think so. We hope so, because we're here to talk. <laughs> yeah, the first scene, the scene was really weird. So I kind of decided and wasn't going to read any further scenes of those of that nature. In any case... <laughs> Maybe we can finally get to the new world now. Or is it a new world? I guess we're going back to the Sephiroth since we have to go to the core of the log sector. Unless... Well, yeah, I guess... Probably, pretty much. Just right here. Here's one thing I want to know. The bow mana and free mana stuff, like, it changes while you're battling. Why doesn't it ever change, like, outside of battle? Why is it only inside battle when it can possibly change? Can't all that mana change, like, between battles? <laughs> that Usually would, have, like, that would have, be like, nice. <laughs> and that's actually the best use of Sorluska. He's not that much, much use of much of anything in combat, like, like I've said, so I stopped using him in this game, but in my game I kept... Uh, using him just because he constructs those mana generate converters really really quickly so he zooms around the map and following <laughs> following my main combat teams and constructs mana converters in all the cities so I like almost always have all my mana converted <laughs> so it's like way higher level at this point in my game uh, I've been pretty much keeping most of my main combat guys at max. Uh, nice, nice. And had zero issues with Burblezard, because I tried More out my I tried out that tactic I came up with with uh, hitting him with two teams to run him out of uses. Uh, so my first team I hit him with was. Uh, the zombie. Like the second time is the easiest, really, because yeah, well, like, cause, yeah, because I, I I knew I've knew all of his patterns and stuff. What to affect if you attack him with? Because I made I made a bunch of uh, I noticed a bunch of things in the first. Well, 
One of the many times I fought him, if you attack him with a stronger material attack, he will use his force attack against you. Where if you attack him with a stronger force attack, he will use his material attack against you. How interesting. And if you don't have an attacker, then he'll always use his material attack. So, so using that information, I made a team of Nozomi and the Blue Crystal, since the Blue Crystal has Icicle Arrow. And I just had Nozomi defend against his physical attacks, taking nothing, and the Blue Crystal countering all of his magic, and ran him out of uses of Graviton, and then attacked him yeah. with another team that consisted of Nozomu, uh, Raputna, and uh, Jazita. And basically I just kept switching it so that when I'd hit him with Nozomu, um, Raputna would be defending since he'll be, he'd be hitting me with his force, and then when he switches his defense, then I attack him with Raputna's uh, higher magic, or uh, not Raputna's, Jazita's, while Raputna puts up Icicle Arrow, and Jazita's set on Incinerate, so his defense don't matter. <laughs> and uh, I took him down without taking a single point of damage to anybody. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> In any case... Uh, Meanwhile, today I played Pokemon Go and caught a couple of Clefairies. I found a Clefairy spawn point. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that if anybody else is having any trouble with Burblezerd. <laughs> because, yeah, that's definitely the most efficient way to fight him. And thank y'all for watching, and have Bye. a good one. Bye.